Welcome to NF Hell. I'm your host, Midwest Jet. With me today, I got Dames Marbs. We also got Ben. How are you guys doing? Hi. Good. We are doing a weekly I'm, show I'm... where we are going to pick every NFL game of the week. Um, and we have chosen to start this, this year with the uh, annual... Uh, what do we want to say? What are we going to call it, James? Because we all have sucky teams, pretty much, you know. Downtrodden, three downtrodden fan bases. Basically, here yeah. we are to talk about our teams. Yeah, so we like uh, the NFL, but we also, you know, have to support our yeah, Jets, the mess of the Jets, the uh, the Seahawks, who used to be pretty good here, but now they're just and. The Minnesota Vikings. What do you think about that, Ben? I think we're a mess. And I think if we go over 500 at any point this season, I will dunk my head in a very cold ice bath. Are you going to do that live on air on NF Hell? Uh, you, you wish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what, what we're going to do is that we're going to be funny. Do, okay, yeah, it would be. What we're going to do is we're going to go through all of the NFL games. As we go through them, we want you to uh, play along at home. Make sure you comment down below your picks. Um, if we start getting consistent viewers and listeners, we'll put your record right up top with ours. You know what? Let's talk about some things that happened in the league first. Okay. I feel like we should talk about, there's been a lot of fucking changes this year. Um, well, we know you're really interested in one. Well, I am. Uh, I think interested is the wrong word. I mean, when you have... Okay, so it's no secret that Russell Wilson now plays for Denver, right? Um, yeah. Don't know how I feel about that yet. We'll talk about it later on, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> we that basically, that move put us 32nd on the power rankings, which is dead last. Which and is I, don't, I don't now. know where we would have been with Russell but it wouldn't have been 32. So um, that's why this is NF hell for me. So basically it's been NF hell for me since Russell Wilson threw the interception on the one yard line against the Patriots because our coach doesn't know how to uh, call plays when he has the best running back on the planet. But anyway, that was years ago. Um what are other, some of the other key mo moves that have been made this year? We got Deshaun Watson, who can't play for a really long time, going to uh, the old Cleveland. That, 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 that one frustrates me, I would say, a little bit. Like, come on. Like, first of I think all they're going to – can I talk about the Watson thing for a second? I think they're going to regret that if they don't already. Because, yeah. A, he's suspended for 11 games. B, I've seen this guy in training camp. He doesn't look good. Like, guys, let's let's get that out of the way. Deshaun Watson does not look like a top 15 NFL quarterback anymore. But what is it's money, been two years, guys. What does his money bracket say? Top five. Right. His money right. bracket says he's the best quarterback in the league. Yeah. But he's not. Right. Agreed. Did they, they didn't even see this guy throw a football before they paid him a gazillion dollars. I, I'm right. sorry, this whole thing but is making We also have to remember and keep in mind, um, Brown fans probably relate to NFL because, seriously, it's the Browns. Like That must mean that they really hated Baker Mayfield, though. Yeah. yeah. And he's where now? But, like, Carolina? Carolina. We'll talk about that. Which, man. they're not going to be any better, by the way. They're not going to be any better. But, like, and they're going to ditch him after this year, too, because they're probably going to fire their coach. But, like... Cleveland is back in the dumpster and they're right. going to be. And if you think they're going to be any better with Deshaun Watson, they're not. I agree. Um, I guess one of the things for me for NFL this year is Tom Brady retiring and then coming out of retirement. I mean, he's just, you know, he is, a, he, he's a decent quarterback, um, but he just played in a division, you know, that I'm well aware of. And he pretty much dominated for 20 straight years. So literally Half of my life, he has been scrutinizing me. I have a theory on that. 
he didn't want to retire the same year as Ben Roethlisberger because he wants to. He doesn't want to go in the hall with Ben. That's a good theory. I mean, those guys don't like each other. I wouldn't be that surprised. Do you agree with James Mars? Comment down below. Yay, nay? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, but we'd love to hear from you. Uh, we do want to kind of get started here, and then as we get to these games, we can maybe talk about some of these huge things that have happened in the NFL games. Um, or, Ben, if you think of anything as I get to the game. So I do want to kind of get started. We just want to start, you know, I'm excited for the 2022 season. Brought my jersey out. Let's go, 2022 uh we're gonna start thursday night defending champs does that mean i can't do a full rant on the deshaun watson contract no we're done with him we're done oh okay that game oh wait he's not even playing yeah he's probably getting a massage somewhere anyway bills rams we got the you know the nfl favorite i would say one of the favorites in the league to win it this year the bills going against the defending champs uh ben we'll start with you who do you think who do you think is going to win and why well, I, I've got the Rams by three here, but only because they're at home. I, I think it's a three-point spread or less. I, I know Vegas had the, has this at, like, Bills minus six right now or some crazy shit like that, which is outrageous. I get it. Stafford's hurt. We don't know how bad. Stafford's elbows right. messed up, apparently. But Do you think, the did Rams the elbow issue last still, year? I think he had it in the Super Bowl because if you go back and watch some of his throws from the Super Bowl, you can tell he wasn't all there. Now, granted, could that have been just season wear and tear? Yes, because you saw it a little bit with Burrow too. But I don't think the Rams are going to fall off anywhere near what people think. I still have the Bills going to the Super Bowl. Right. I think they will. Cool. All right. But, yeah, the Rams are winning this game because they're at home. All right, Dame, you're up. What do you got? Buffalo by 12. Okay. And I'm going to tell you why, because fuck the Rams. Well, that's reason enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm also going to go with you, Dames. I'm going Bills, and the only reason I'm going Bills is I just feel like they got something to prove. They are coming, going to come out of the gate, firing all pistons. Their defense got better with Von Miller. There's a big move. Um, and I think, you know, Josh Allen just keeps – he's if he's the same as he was last year, they go to the Super Bowl. So, that's my pick. I'm going to say Bills by six. God, imagine if Josh oh. Allen gets better this year. That would be crazy. <laughs> he throws like 60. Imagine that. All right. So, we're going to move on to uh, the Sunday games. I just went online and just went right down the order. So it is in no particular order. Once we get to the uh, Seahawks, Vikings, or Jets, obviously, uh, we'll let Dames, Marv's, Ben, or myself take over on that one. But again, we're just going to go through. Um, make sure you comment below. We want to know who you think is going to win these games. Eagles at Lions. New look Lions. Dames, Dames, you're on this one. Eagles at Lions. Eagles at I, Lions. I honestly, I've always kind of, like the last couple of years thought Detroit could win any game that they played, but they could also lose every game that they played. So I, I think the trends are turning at this point and I'm going to go lions by four. Okay. Go ahead, Ben. What you got? Yeah. If you watched hard knocks and I've watched every episode of this year's hard knocks and I don't watch hard knocks normally, but this year I did because Dan Campbell is a legend. Uh, this team, I think if there was a trophy for like the ultimate giving a shit, like this team wins it because everybody gives a shit, <laughs> all 53 guys, I've got the lines by five. Uh, I, I legitimately think they can win the division. So, you know, for the first time ever, I think they can win that division. Oh, uh, that's and a little, they that, look really good. That's a bold statement. Um, I'm, I'm going to go actually kind of the opposite. I'm just going to say, uh. I heard a, a wise man last night say something about he's been alive for a long time and the Lions have never been a winner. So I'm just going to go Eagles. Um, I feel like, again, they're a team who's kind of also on the brink of being pretty good. Um, Hurts to A.J. Brown sounds pretty good to me over a, a, just a Lions team that just doesn't know how to win. I don't like Jared Goff. So no offense, Jared, but. Can I, can I, can I 
be on defense of Jared Goff for a second? Yeah, go ahead. This Let's guy's been that. hurt for two years on a behind a bad offensive line. Like, we don't know what he is at all. I he has been hurt for several years, and now he's finally a hundred percent. And if you saw him on hard knocks, this guy is making insane throws. Today's episode of NFL throw the ball all over the place. hard knocks. Tune in this week to watch. Anyway, yeah, okay. So let's go ahead and move on to uh, the Niners at the Chicago Bears. And I'll go ahead and start this. We'll just kind of rotate through. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say, uh, number one, I think the Bears will be the worst team in football. I am not a Justin Fields fan. He's learning a whole new offense. Um, They don't really have any weapons that he can throw to. And the 49ers are going to be really, really good. Sorry, Dames, but dang. So I'm going to go Niners by 23. Who wants to go next? You got to pick us, man. You got to go, gotta... go ahead. All right. Go ahead. So I almost choked on my <laughs> bacon nets um, when you said A, that the Bears are going to be the worst team in football and B, that the 49ers are going to be one of the best teams in football. That makes me want to slap you silly. Um, Mostly because of the Farty, mostly because of the Farty whiners. They're terrible. They suck. Fuck them. They're going to have a losing record this year. And (laughs) Bears are going to win by 19. The Bears. By 19, the Bears are going to win. Uh, this is your division right here, bud. You need your Bears to lose. So, what do you got for us, Ben? First of all, I think you're both idiots. Uh, let me get that out of the way. <laughs> Have you seen the shirt? <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I guess, but like, I, I don't Wait, know. You're the smartest you Jets fan I know. Tie? If that tells you anything, does that mean you think they're gonna tie? No, I, no, I think the Niners are winning this game, but it's not gonna be my no 23. It's going to be like a 14 point game and Trey Lance is going to like throw two interceptions. I like Justin Fields, but he's learning a second offense in as many years in the league. And I do not like the rest of this bears team at all. He doesn't have any receivers. Not to say the Niners got much either because they really don't. I don't know how this team made it to the AFC title game last year. And I think the locker room's pretty torn on this whole Jimmy G thing. So yeah, I think the Niners are winning this game, but I don't think they're winning a whole lot more than that. Fair enough. Love it. Love it. All right. Next week, uh, we're going to move on, or excuse me, the next game we're moving on to is Steelers at Bengals. And I believe we're going to go with Ben. You're going to start this one off. What a mess this game is. Holy crap. If this was Pickett versus Burrow, I think I'd watch it. But it's like this weird Burrow versus Trubisky thing. And I kind of almost don't care because Burrow's going to win by 20. All right. And I know how good the Steelers are, and they've kind of held Burrow at the, at bay in the past, but I just don't see it here. I've got the Bengals by fifteen or fourteen, excuse me. Okay, um, I'll go. I'll go next on this one. I'm gonna go. Um, I also think the the Bengals are gonna win, but I, I will say this about Mike Tomlin and the Steelers: they just for they always in games. Like I feel like even when they had Roethlisberger, Berger, who was like horrendous his last year, they still were like one game away, I think, from making the playoffs. The defense always plays tough. Uh, you got Watt coming. But man, I mean, I feel like it could be a really close game. But again, Jamar Chase will be way too much Burrow in him and his connection. So I'm going to say Bungles. I'm going to say by 13. Danger. Right. Well, usually I like to give the coach of the team uh, a lot of credit for wins and losses. And I really think Mike Tomlin is one of the better coaches in the NFL. Um, But I don't think he's got enough to get past the mighty Bengals of Cincinnati. Uh, Bengals by seven. Awesome. All right. Again, just a reminder, thanks for tuning in to NFL. And down below, tell us who you think is going to win. Tell us why your NFL life is also like ours okay we're gonna go to the next game i'm gonna start this one off it's in my division patriots dolphins um and it's at miami here's what i think bella cheat does not lose opening day 
very often. So I think they come out, everybody's talking smack. They don't know what's going to happen. He's going to call the play. He's going to beat the Dolphins because the Dolphins are one of those teams. They have the, all this hype. They're supposed to be so good. And he's going to have some defensive scheme where Tua Tebow isn't going to know what's mm -hmm. going on. So I'm going to go uh, Patriots in a really low scoring game, 19 to 13. Go ahead, Dames. What do you think? I see. You Did you really do that? Did you really say that Tua Tagovailoa is the next Tebow? I did. I, I feel All like. Right. I but that's fair. That's fine if you want to do that. But yeah. he's going to have to win a playoff game in order for that to be true. It's so true. I'm going Miami over New England in a bill of cheat. Props to him for the hoodie. Uh, in, in an opening day, uh, rarity. Going to lose. Okay. okay. Going to lose okay. by oh. one. Ooh, close one. Nail biter. What you got, Ben? Well, I don't know if you guys have noticed this over the past number of years. Every Patriots Dolphins game in Miami is weird. Like just undeniably weird. <laughs> yeah. We, we've had weird shit in these games every year forever. So I think this is going to be no different. And I think the dolphins win by three. Awesome. Cool. It, Cause again, it's weird and I don't like Mac Jones. So yeah. I'll, I'll jump on that bandwagon with you on that. I don't, I'm not a big Mac Jones fan either. I thought Josh McDaniels really actually was a benefit for him last year. Him being gone is going to be. They have who Joe judge. I don't know who's calling the plays. Maybe Joe judge. I think he brought Patricia or who did he bring back? Bell I think he brought back those two that he used to have. Now they're back. They're not calling the plays. He is, but they are, but it's yeah. It's hot watch. Anyway, <laughs> who's running right. the offense? <laughs> all right. I'm going to go to the next game. One of my, uh, this, I would say this is maybe not, this is one of the, my uh, highlighted games that I'm looking forward to. It's Browns at Panthers. And it's how we started the show with, Baker Mayfield going back against his old team. I just think it's going to be fun to watch because, you know, you got the Browns. We got Brissette in there, which is kind of strange. But then Miles Garrett's been talking some smack. Um, so I just think uh, that the I think the Panthers are going to win. And that's my pick because I think Christian McCaffrey is too much, which opens up the passing game for Baker. Um, if Sam Darnold can start the season 3-0 and with Christian McCaffrey, uh, I, I believe that Baker Mayfield is going to actually do a little better. So I'm going to go Panthers over the Browns because it's the turd. So that's what they do. Go ahead, Ben. You can go on the next one. This one. What do you think? Um, there's never been a storyline. I don't care more in game against Cleveland. Okay. okay. I, I don't care. Both of these teams suck as presently constituted. Like, I it, Panthers by three only because they have like minimally more talent, but I really don't care. I I don't think Baker's that good. <laughs> okay, Dames, what do you think? Uh, well, on the rare occasion that Christian McCaffrey's healthy in Week One, I'm going to also uh, get on board with the 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 panther train but i also think that they're going to be better than people think i think they're at least second in that division and i think they probably beat tb at least once old statement there yeah. 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 yeah well i mean we'll find out i'm sure when people are commenting they're going to say can they beat brady or i mean brady might be a little distracted Post those comments i want to i want all the fucking hate because i will respond to your ass next week oh all right, Ooh. let's uh, let's move on to uh, the Colts at the Houston Texans. Um, to me, this is a no-brainer, but I'm going to let Ben start this one, and then I'll, I'll round it off. So, Dave, well, you go ahead, Ben. Go ahead, bud. What do you think? Well, Colts by 17. I, <laughs> it's not hard. It's Colts by 17, and I'm a Davis Mills fan. Uh, but he's got no talent around him. I like that quarterback, but when – when you've got a good quarterback and no talent around him, does it even matter? I, I mean, we saw it. We saw it with Matt Ryan in Atlanta the last couple of years. Good quarterback, nothing around him. They didn't right. do anything, and I think Houston's a lot of the same. And I, 
I, I like Lovey Smith too, by the way, who's yeah. really good coach. He proved it in Chicago forever that Lovey Smith's a good coach. Yep. 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 Agree. Agree. James, what are you thinking on this? I think Ben's got it wrong. I think he's got it reversed. I think the wide receiver core for Houston is very, very good. And the quarterback is the one I have questions about. So um, in this game, the vastly improved Indianapolis Colts are going to prevail. That I agree with. But I do, I think there's plenty of talent there in the wide receiving core for the young Houston Texans, but they're going to be awful. So awesome. Yeah, cool. Um, so here, basically what I'm going to say is uh, I read a stat line. Basically, I think the Colts played the Texans last year and they allowed three total points. Um, I think the Colts defense is just as good as it was last year. I do think, like you guys said, I, I think the Texans are going to be better. I like Lovey Smith as well. I think he's going to hopefully help turn that ship around. They got rid of, uh, you know, douchebag, hotel massage guy so i really actually think that was a blessing in disguise for them but i am also with you colt's big on this one matt ryan he has protection like that he, in a running game good lord i mean this could be a legitimate uh at least playoff contender maybe super bowl depending on their defense um all right let's move i mean on. keep matt ryan upright yep keep matt ryan upright i agree keep, all right next game you have a great offensive line though that's one thing yeah i know yeah Colts are going to be tough. They keep him upright, dude. Yeah, yeah. I that think we're all the same. It's going to be hard. Yeah. I'm, I'm, they're one of my t- top teams who I think could do some things this year just because of that. I mean, think about Carson Wentz, dude, and he played like trash, and they were really good. If he would have had anybody else back there, you know, it would have been great last year. Anyway, all right, let's move on. Saints, Falcons in Atlanta. Um, we got famous Jameis going against Marcus Mariota. What a weird uh, scenario that is. I feel like just weird saying it. Um, James, go ahead and hit this one off. What do you think? Just because of the sheer volume of my not knowing shit about either one of these teams, I'm going to say New Orleans just because uh, I like their uniforms better. That's that's all I got. <laughs> all right, man. All right. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're good. <laughs> ben, what do you think? I know a lot more than either – well, than at least Dames. I don't know about you, Jet, but at least Dames about both of these teams. And, well, I agree with him. It's for different reasons. Uh, the Saints are going to win this game not because they have cooler uniforms, but they have a top three defense in the NFL. And you you can't do anything with against that when you're Marcus Mariota. I'm sorry, Marcus Mariota. But, like, you're not at Oregon anymore. This is the NFL. Uh, NFL. Saints by 10. All right. Um, yep, I got – Mariota, going... yeah, it is hell. <laughs> I know, right. I'm going with both of you. I'm going Saints. I think their defense has way too much for Mariota. Granted, Pitts is, I think, a really machine tight end. He's going to be one of the top tight ends in the league. But, yeah, Cordero Patterson, I feel like, yeah, last year he did well, but people are kind of figuring that out. I feel like I've never really thought of him as a real threat. Drake London's going to be rookie of the year. I don't care how bad that that Atlanta team is. Drake London's winning rookie of the year. That's a good pick. Um, and then I'm going to say, um, yeah, the Saints, famous Jameis. I know last year started off hot. They got Michael Thomas back. Like you said, their top three defense, just they're going to be too much. I'm going to say Saints by 13. Um. And then we're going to move on. And this is my game of the week uh, for sure, just because it's, you know, my team. So I'll go ahead and start this one off. Ravens at Jets. Um, I obviously, man, what a, what a, what a crazy way to start off with the Jets. we got to play the Ravens. Lamar Jackson's coming to town. Just got news this morning. that Joe Flacco is starting the first three games of the season for the Jets. So uh, this game. Ouch. Yeah. Ouch. He has been preparing to be the starter since uh, Zach went down. So it's, he's also started in the league for like a billion years. Um, So it's not like we're like, Oh my gosh, is this guy good? I feel like the Jets O line, it's kind of like the the whole Colts thing. If they can keep him upright, we have enough weapons to at least score some points. Our defense was the worst in the league last year. Even if it's 25th this year, hopefully we can hold the Ravens down. Um, 
obviously most people, I'm going to say 99% of the population are taking the Ravens. I cannot not take the Jets. 24, 23 Jets and a nail biter. Flacco beats his old team. And then all of a sudden we have talk of, is Joe Flacco the starter? Even when Zach Wilson comes back. So that's my pick. Jets 24, 23. Who wants to chime in next? Dames, you're up. The new Broadway Joe leading the Jets against his old team. I'm right. I'm going to tell you right now. If this game was in Baltimore and he was going back there, he fucks the shit up. Um, but that's sadly, that's not the case. They're coming to him. He's going to embarrass himself and your team uh, on a very, very good Baltimore team that will probably end up winning the division. I think Baltimore wins this by at least two scores. Touchdown scores. Okay. Don't be, don't eye me like that. You know what, Jets fans, let me have it down, down here. Let them have it, man. Let's go. Go ahead, Ben. Jets Mafia, please do not come after me after this, but this is going to get ugly. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. I, I, if, if Zach Wilson was winning this game, or winning this game, playing in this game, hell, if Zach Wilson could even walk right now, I would consider picking the Jets. <laughs> I would consider it <laughs> but because now Joe Flacco Joe fucking Flacco is your starting quarterback hey crazy Ravens by 21 happened. Ravens by 21 he says. Ravens, Ravens by, by 21 because I don't th- <laughs> I don't think the Jets score a fucking point <laughs> Oh my gosh. I cannot wait until, okay. Dames, after this week, this is going to be need to be replayed in it like right before the game. So well, I'll slow it down and be like, yeah, you won't score a point. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Okay. We're going to move on from my NFL to the Jaguars commanders. This game is in DC Trevor Lawrence and the Jags go in there against the new look commanders with Carson Wentz. We were just speaking of him. Um, I'm going to go commanders. I'm going to start this one off. I'm going to go commanders. I think the Jaguars are going to be, they have to be better. Urban My- the Urban Meyer fire, that was atrocious. Um, they got Doug Peterson, respect the heck out of that guy. He's going to help Trevor Lawrence make leaps and bounds. I just don't think they're good enough yet. The commanders have a really good D. So I really feel like they're going to control the running game, control the clock, and they're going to win. I'd say... No, they're not going to score too many points, maybe 17, 10, something like that. Commanders. Ben, what do you think? Uh, this is like the worst game of the week, right? Yeah, yeah, yep. I think Jaguars, probably. Commanders. Th- yeah. th- this, is the worst, this is the worst game. Is anybody going to watch this other than a Commanders or a Jaguars fan that's like diehard? No, no. no. Like, this is unwatchable. Yeah, no one Jaguars by three. Through. Jaguars by three only because, like, Trevor Lawrence at least has potential where Carson Wentz is dead in the water. I don't oh. know. Oh, wow. That's a hot take. All right, Dames, what you got? Um, well, this uh, game is the very definition of NFL. Um, and thusly so, I have it dubbed as the who gives a shit bowl. Uh, I honestly didn't make a pick on my scorecard, so I'm going to be doing this live. <laughs> when Ben says there's a three-point difference coming between the winner and the loser, I'm going to say that's all that gets scored in this game. Three points, Commanders. <laughs> Zero points, Jacksonville. Oh, my God. If that happened, I could see it. Yeah, that would be like, sadly hilarious NFL. But Carson Wentz, dude. This guy, you, you're forgetting. This guy, and you, you are like Doug Peterson. Killed Carson, got him killed. Dead. That's he's the reason Carson Wentz is dead. But then he went back to Frank Reich, who was his OC, and he still sucked. So I feel like Carson Wentz has something up. Like, okay, ah. but let's, dude. Everybody had him at one point billed as the next Tom Brady. So let's just. 
Let's sure. just think about that for a second. He clearly is not going to be that, but that does not mean there's not talent there in that arm. But still, if he's the next Tom Brady, if he's the next Tom Brady, then I'm the next Howard Stern. I already said he's not. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> All right. You mean Howard on. Stern in the sense of a piece of shit? Congratulations. You 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 take the crown. <laughs> I meant in terms of ratings. I know Howard Stern's a piece of shit. Oh well. This show is rated PG. Okay, so we go ahead, go ahead, move to the next game. Ben, you're all over this. <laughs> no, it's not. One. You're all over this one. This is you, all you. You know what game we're talking about? Packers Vikings. I, I'm excited for this game only because I want to see how horribly it goes for us. I don't have hope like Jet does or maybe like Dames does. I admit I am a Vikings fan, but I am not delusional. What are you saying? We're like delusional. Colin Cowherd. Like Colin Cowherd. Well, who picked us to win out, 13 Colin. games. He's calling you out, Colin. What you think about that, bro? No, I'm not. Coward picked us to win 13 games. Like, this dude's insane. Like, what? We're not even going to win this one. <laughs> Packers by four. <laughs> I don't know. Man, got, uh... <laughs> Packers by four only? Wow. Two safeties. Go. Oh, I'm not delusional. <laughs> <laughs> 40 sure like uh, it's it's gonna be like 45 to 7 in the third quarter i don't know james who you got who you got look you know we can we can tell he's he's pretty well, close to this game ben. i honestly thought aaron Rodgers was gone i thought there's no fucking way he's ever playing in green bay again and what the fuck happened i thought he was going to denver now they're all copacetic and like yeah and and they get and he signed the contract and then they got rid of Devonte adams like literally like a week later <laughs> They're like, oh, what's he going to do? And Hold then they out. all did psychedelics together. Yeah. Hold out. And then they all did. <laughs> and then they all tripped balls. Yep. Dude, I'm, I'm perplexed by that entire organization. Yeah. The entire situation. Mm-hmm. Why would they, why did they even want him when he was such an asshole all of last I, year? Yeah. There for a while, I was like, who is this guy? I'm like, you guys could have got three first round picks. And and players and just rebuilt your organization around Devontae Adams, who quite frankly has more left in the tank than I think Aaron Rodgers does. I don't think he's quite as good as Aaron Rodgers is for the team. But when you're talking three first round picks plus players, what are you doing? What are you doing, Green? Yeah, you got love waiting in the back. I also don't I also don't think Devontae's a fucking asshole. <laughs> All you need is love. All like you need is love, man. So I mean, honestly, Minnesota. Who are you taking? Who are you taking, Dave's? Minnesota is. Oh, I'm, this is. A, I'm making a switch. I'm going Minnesota, and I'm going to tell you why. For what? <laughs> Minnesota by by two. Not by um, four. <laughs> because I I just Not feel like, four? dude, Minnesota has been so close to so many good things on so many occasions and they've never had good things happen. James, I'm, I'm on board with you on this. I've been talking about the Viking. I think the Vikings win the division. That's a, I know I'm kind of with Colin Coward on this one. I feel like they have a new coach, their offense. You got Jefferson, who is a monster cook stays healthy. Cousins always puts up good numbers. He's just kind of one of those guys who, uh, you know, in big games, he's we'll see, but their defense is going to be, you know, will hopefully improve. But no one in your division has a good defense. So, right? Do the Packers have their good? I mean, the Lions, eh. And we know the Bears suck. So. Dude, I, I honestly feel like those defenses, those four defenses are very evenly matched in that division. So, right. it's going to come down to quarterback play. And I just, I don't know, for whatever reason, the game's in Minnesota. I just feel like. Cousins for once in his life may and Lazard's out, out, by the way, probably You're may outperform out. Aaron Rodgers. That's 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 what I'm saying. Have you have you guys watched Kirk Cousins play football? <laughs> yeah, mostly on uh prime time, which is not yeah, man, but, yeah. This game's not on prime time, bro. Is it isn't it just like on yeah, it's fine, he'll win. 
It's not on Sunday night football or anything. This is like that. a three o'clock game. But like I, I have no confidence in Kirk Cousins. I like O'Connell. Right, I yeah. like our a lot of our weapons. I like our some of our new defensive guys. I don't like Kirk Cousins. You know what? I will wager something. Okay, if we hear. win this game, I will make like a you know a sign that I wear around my neck that says I love Kirk Cousins with the number eight on it, and I will wear it on next week's show. If we win this game, if we do it. You listening, guys? Everybody listening? I hold him accountable. We'll see. We'll see because he was supposed to be wearing a Viking shirt right now, and he had a month to to find it, and he's not wearing it. Where is my Viking? We'll see if this actually happens, but let's yeah. let's let Kirk Cousins do his magic first. I'm with you. All right, let's move Kirk on. Kirk Cousins to- doesn't have any magic. He's Kirk fucking Cousins. <laughs> Let's move on to the next week. I feel like uh, I know about two people that are going to watch this game. I'm also really – I don't think many people are going to be on running to the TV to watch this unless you're an actual fan of the two teams. Giants at Titans. King Henry is going to run all over the Giants. Uh, Tannis Spill is not going to have to do a whole lot because I feel like the running game is so strong. Giants offense is question marks all over the field. Is Saquon healthy? Is he not? Uh, Tony – a slot receiver pretty showed some signs last year, but it's all about Daniel Jones. And I feel like if you put it on his shoulders, I'm going to go with the better coach and the better quarterback. And that's going to be the Titans. And I think they win handily 21 seven. Go ahead, Dames. I'm just going to say tight or uh, Titans and not say why. Actually, I will say why the giants are the worst fucking team in the NFL. That's why. Okay. All right. Ben, ben, anything to add to this? Sweet game. Remember when I said that that Jaguars Commanders game was like the worst fucking game I've ever seen in my life? Yeah. <laughs> this might actually be worse. They put so many stinkers in week one, it's embarrassing. Anyway, right. Titans, Giants, I don't give a shit who wins this game. Frankly, I don't. Fucking Derrick Henry's going to run for 200 yards and the Titans are going to win. Nobody gives a shit. What All I right, want to cool. see is how many times how many times is Ryan Tannehill going to fuck it up? True. I think in the regular season, though, Tannehill's been pretty consistent. I just feel like in big games is when he's kind of, yeah. So. Big game. Yeah. Yeah, this is a big game. <laughs> All right, let's move on to a div- another division game. I do like the NFL um, doing this where they're putting like these division matchups. It's pretty cool. So um, again, make sure you're commenting below. But then they give us games like the- Titans and the Giants. No, not Titans, Giants. Next game, Raiders, Chargers. Raiders, Chargers. Ben, who you want to start? What do you think about this one? Raiders at Chargers. I need a drink. What are you thinking? It doesn't suck. It doesn't suck. And because I seem to have more faith in Derek Carr than just about anybody on the planet, potentially more than Josh McDaniels, uh, depending on when you ask him. Right. Uh, I think the Raiders are going to be very competitive this year. That being said, I think the Chargers have the best roster top to bottom in the NFL. (laughs) With that being said, and they're healthy right now, don't know how long that's going to last, but for right now, they're healthy. Chargers by six, probably in overtime, because this game was crazy last year, and yeah. it's probably going to be crazy again. Awesome. James, what do you got? Um, <clears throat> This division fascinates me. Um, To me, the Super Bowl winner is coming out of this division. That's just what I what I feel right now. Um, I think that... The Chargers have the best quarterback in the NFL. I'm just gonna. You're a big, that. you're a Herb guy, huh? You're an Herb guy. No, don't like him, but I can't, I can't question what I see. He looks the part, and he's got weapons. He's got defense. He's got coaching. He's got good weather. I mean, he's gonna have a hard time in Kansas City this year, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Um, Right. I think don't forget. Yeah. Chargers all the way. I don't know by how much, but I definitely think they're going to take it. I'm going with both of you on that. I'm going with the Chargers. I just think 
the addition of Khalil Mack. You got Bosa coming on the edge. Yeah, we, they got Devontae Adams uh, for the Raiders, which, again, is a huge move in the NFL. But, again, I just think the Chargers, yeah, they're one of those teams where they were kind of like, who were we talking about earlier where they're like, man, they're just on the cusp. Maybe the Lions, even? I can't remember. But where they're just like, every week, you're, man, you're like, man, these guys could be pretty good. And I feel like they're actually this is the year where they're, you know, it just sucks that everybody in their division is really good as well. So, because, I mean, Chiefs, Broncos, Chargers, Raiders, that's a tough, tough division. But I will say, if the Raiders pull this game out, they've already flipped this division on its head because I will have no idea what's going to happen from that point on. Right. Right, right, right. I'm with you on that one. I think we should just admit we have no idea who's winning this division. Yeah. Because, right. like, I mean, I've yeah. seen sp- I've seen talking heads try to say, oh, the Chargers, oh, the Chiefs. No, we don't have a fucking clue. <laughs> right. right. Well, I mean, and I guess we, I'm just going to go right into the next week because it is the same division. It's Chiefs, but they're playing at Cardinals. Did the Chiefs get a win on the road uh, against the Cardinals to start off the division? Because now, I mean, one of those, the first, like we said, they're going to have a loss. So Raiders or Chargers are already, already going to be 0-1. Did the Chiefs already hop up a game or they lose at Cardinals? What do you think, games? I think Arizona is going to win the NFC West this year, but I don't think they're going to get past Kansas City on this particular day. All right. All right. How about, what about you, Ben? What do you think? So I want to take you guys back to week one of last year when everybody thought the Chiefs were going to go like 17 an hour or some crazy shit. Okay. It, it wasn't going to happen. And it's probably not going to happen this year, but I'm a firm believer that this team has played a lot of football in the last couple of years that Mahomes just lost his best weapon other than Travis Kelsey, because I think Kelsey in terms of like Hill has more natural talent, but in terms of like just overall talent, I think Kelsey's a like a smidge better at tight end. Okay. Um, I, I think the Chiefs are going to come out of the blocks rough, which is where I give the Cardinals a chance here. I'm picking the Chiefs, but I think the Cardinals do definitely have a chance. I'm picking the Chiefs by seven, but the Cardinals are going to be hanging with them and not because I think the Cardinals are good, because I think the Chiefs are going to start rough. James, so before you jump in here, yeah. I want to talk to Chiefs fans for just a second. Travis Kelsey is the best player that you have on your team. He's the best player, maybe that you probably on your team. Um, now that Hill's gone, what's going to happen when Mahomes just has to run backwards and chuck the ball up in the air? He's not going to have Hill to bail his ass out every single time. That's that's Scott. what drives me nuts about Chiefs fans that think that that they have, or any analyst that think that Patrick Mahomes is the greatest quarterback they've ever seen in their life. He runs backwards and he chucks the ball up in the air. And he has the best tight end I've ever seen in my life and Hill. And he doesn't have Hill anymore to bail him out. So I'm sorry, Chiefs fans. And Juju Smith Schuster is not Tyree Kill. No, he he's not even not Tyree Kill. Poor my, I can't even say he's a poor man's Tyree Kill. My question would be this, and I'm gonna take he's the not. Chiefs as well, right? I'm gonna take the Chiefs as well. I think they're the better team. Kyler Murray without DeAndre Hopkins. Dang, um, I'm just I'm not a huge Cardinals fan this year. I, I kind of feel like if they had to put his co- in his contract, that he has to study. He's not studying, so we all know that how that is. Oh, well, they just put it in there. No, they're not just putting it in there. No one else has it in their contract. Kyler, stop playing PS Five and study your film. Anyway, Chiefs are going to win. I think Patrick Mahomes makes his receivers better. Um, I do think there, he is one of the better quarterbacks in the league. Um, and I just feel like, um, yes, Kelsey beast. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. But I also think that, uh, Mahomes, let's give him some credit as well. You know, the chiefs were literally haven't won a super bowl since 1970 until he comes. Now they've been to two. I mean, there's a combination Andy Reid, him, blah, blah, blah. But let's, let's give some due credit to Mahomes. I'm going to give the credit to Andy Reid because guess what? If Andy Reid was Russell Wilson's coach for the last 10 years, they would have more than two Super Bowl appearances. Oh, yeah. He took mixed. I agree with that. Like Period. Five, four straight. Yeah. Tight. Okay. Anyway. All right. 
we got two games left. We're going to move to the Sunday night game. Again, thanks for tuning in to NFL. Uh, we just want to make sure that you are commenting below. We want to see how our predictions rank up to yours. So maybe you will go, what, undefeated? I'm going undefeated. Are you? Yep. I don't think any of us are. Yeah. <laughs> right. That I mean, Raiders Chargers game is too much of a toss up. <laughs> right. Right. But is it though? Yeah, it is. Okay. Sunday night, Tom Brady and the Bucks visit the Cowboys in Dallas. I'm going to go ahead and start this one off uh, because, again, I hate Tom Brady. No offense, Brady. Yes, you're amazing. You're blah, 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 blah. But you kicked the Jets. 20 straight years so I don't I can't stand watching you play um and but I do think they beat the Cowboys because I think the, the Cowboys are slowly getting worse um I feel like maybe a couple of years ago they were like maybe a Super Bowl favorite or a playoff to go to the playoffs but they've kind of digressed and just slowly went backwards Ezekiel Elliott's getting old he's not much of a factor uh Dak is still Dak but their defense uh sucks their left tackle just went out I mean, I feel in McCarthy, I don't think McCarthy's that good of a coach. I think he always had really good players. So um, I'm going to go Bucks 35 21. Go ahead, Ben. What do you think? We've all heard the song, A Cowboy Rides Away by George Strait. Um, th this season reminds me of that because the Cowboys are riding away from winning. Uh, they don't know what they're doing. They have a good quarterback. They refuse to acknowledge that they have a good quarterback, but they don't have a good running back anymore. They traded their best receiver for like table scraps. Bucks by 10, even though I hate both of these teams. And I think Mike McCarthy's the 32nd best head coach in the NFL. All right, James, what's up? Go ahead. What are you thinking? I see your wheels are turning. Well, I wanted to quote another. Uh, George Strait song and tell Ben that I've got some oceanfront property in Arizona where Bruce Arians used to live and now he lives in Tampa because <laughs> he has Ow. the best it's roster possible. that he's ever had which is something you, that you can only not pay attention to when it's the coach saying it because uh, he, ha he has to say that um, Dallas Todd Bowles is the coach I fucking I have this listed on my sheet as if the stadium implodes, I'll be okay, Bull. Um, because you also hate both teams. A lot of Tampa Bay fans would pass, but a lot of Cowboy fans would perish. And neither one of these teams would ever have to be uh, in my stadium ever again. So that's the that's the reality that I'm living in with this game. But I honestly think Dallas is probably on the uprise which hurts my fucking feelings but You're the opposite of me i am i am so I, I got dallas by three all right we're gonna move on to the last game of the week which will then conclude our first episode of nfl again i'm your host midwest jet are we gonna reference more george Strait songs <laughs> no we're, i'm not quoting i don't know any george Strait songs so sorry guys i mean i maybe know them but i don't know them ben all of his well, we would, we would. Thank you. Good, <laughs> good joke. Okay, move on. All right, move on. So we got the Monday night game, Dames. This is all you. You've been waiting this whole episode for this. Well, I, it's made my head hurt, and you want to know why my fucking head hurts? Why? Because fucking Russell Wilson is a fucking Denver Bronco. That's what makes my head. Wait, that was hurt. a Broncos hat this whole time. No, no, no. Get out. Fuck you, Russell. Oh. So here's the thing. All right. The Seahawks. Pete Carroll is old. He has passed him by. He does not belong on any sideline now. He doesn't belong in any training camp right now. All I see is him running around, throwing the football, laughing and joking, listening to hip hop music with his players. And that's fine and good, but he's he's too old for the game. It's passed him by. One cool thing that did happen was, oh, 
you have signed me to a long-term extension, which means I'll be playing in Seattle for a really long time. But who's going to throw the fucking ball to me? Answer? Oh, not me, because I'm a fucking traitor. That's right, you guys. I have this listed as the fucking traitor bowl. And if Seattle goes 1-16, and 16, let this be the fucking game we win. I hate Russell Wilson. I mean, thanks for the Super Bowl, bud. Uh, but seriously, here, this drives me nuts. The guy is so disingenuous. He never said what what he actually was thinking, and and it snowed me for like ten years until he finally gets you know gets away. And then watching his press conferences, I can eat, I can't even stand to listen to him talk. So I really hope that Mr. X jet gets back on his game and like takes Russell Wilson apart, <laughs> apart, apart. Wow, Ben, I don't know. Are you going to be able to follow this effort? Or do you just want to go wait, actually, who's your pick that, that said Seattle goes one in 16 this year. This is the game we win by eight. No. <laughs> I think Ben I'm in on this one already. What's up, Ben? Let's hear it. Maybe I had too much. Risk. Who's the Seahawks quarterback? Does who's the Seahawks quarterback? Who knows? Do we know? Gino is starting. Are are you serious? J E T S. At least the first yeah. half. At least the first half. Yep. Why is Drew Locke not starting this football game? COVID. I think he had. <laughs> At COVID. least they'd have a chance. At least they'd have a chance to win. Uh, whatever. Dude, yeah. Geno Smith sucks. He's the 32nd best starting quarterback in the NFL. Yeah, yeah he's worse than Carson 38th. Wentz. He's the 38th best starting quarterback in the NFL. Because there's like nine. That's not even fucking players. possible, but sure. No, there's like yeah. nine bench Blacko, quarterbacks. Blacko's better than him. He's my backup for me. Nine Just backups that are better than him. Yeah, come on. Fuck, Case Keenum is better than him. Yeah, there we go. That's I'll take Case Keenum. Like, I would, if I was a Seahawks fan, I would take Keenum over both these dipshits we got right now. I'm just like, saying that. I at agree least with Keenum you. went 13 and three. <laughs> Keenum just went 13 and three in Minnesota, like not that long ago. Let's not forget that. Well, I saw Keenum throw 10 touchdowns in a single game in college football. And that's with DK Metcalf. That's what we need. But guess what? It really doesn't matter if we have the best fucking receivers on the planet with pete carroll the run 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 coach and i think it's funny that now uh you know after you lose the super bowl by not running now he wants to run okay like come on now that's that's hilarious uh right. broncos I mean, spy yeah. <laughs> nfl welcome to nfl i mean right there it is the NFL. irony in that whole super bowl there's an irony in that whole super bowl thing right you've got one of the best at the time marshawn lynch was one of the best running backs in the league at that time, which is crazy to say that now because his last few years, beast mode. his last few years weren't great. But there was a time where Marshawn was the best running back in the NFL. And this was it. And you had him. And if you score a touchdown, you win your second Super Bowl in a fucking row. And if you don't run the ball like a fucking moron like you did in this game, you're probably going to throw a pick because you're at the half yard line. What does Pete Carroll's dipshit ass decide to do? <laughs> he decides to run the worst play action play I think I've ever seen in my fucking life. <laughs> like just no effort at all. And then Russell Wilson throws like this weird, like almost sidearm pass. I don't even remember who he's trying to throw the ball to. And Malcolm Butler's just like, yeah, I'll take that. Thank you. Yoink. It was our fourth string wide receiver. And, uh, that gives that once again, Tom Brady was involved in that game. So I tried to block that out of my memory. Who you got in the game though, Ben, who you taking? I, Broncos by 17. I don't know. I won't watch this game. I don't care. Let the Broncos let Russell do his stupid Broncos country. Let's ride thing. I, I don't know. Fuck it. Right. 
I'm, I'm with Dames on this, I, I, besides picking, but I'm kind of with the Russell Wilson thing. I used to love that guy. I thought he was, like, amazing, a group, blah, blah, blah. And I just feel like he's very – he's been very, like, deceptive the last, like, two years just to get out – just to get out of there. Granted, he's still a stud quarterback. Broncos are going to win big. I think he comes back and picks apart Jamal Adams' pathetic pass D. Do I want uh, the Seahawks maybe to have a little revenge game and for Dames Marvs to get the win? Yes. But, again, I'm going with my – my brain here and like the, there's if the broncos lose this game i will be shocked like now you go with your brain now i go with my brain you right go with I your brain during brain. the jets pick what you're talking about Bo? i love that it says min kings by ben <laughs> he's the min kings min King. you want to find me a better background james no <laughs> i mean i can find you when it's green has a jet on it all right anyway <laughs> We are going to conclude this week's episode of NFL. So next Thursday, make sure you tune in. We're going to be up again with all of our predictions. Uh, We'll put our records from this week. We'll go down in the comments. We will be commenting back to you, letting us know. You're going to let us know how you feel. We're going to tell you how we feel back. Let's get this ball rolling. J-E-T-S, here's to a healthy season. Hope all of our teams, uh, you know, don't, Put us back in that spot. Guys, before we before we go, if we thought the scheduling was bad for this week, I'm looking at next week's schedule. It's way worse. It's it's putrid again. <laughs> can't wait. Yeah, it's, can't it's wait. So Just bad. Comment, like, subscribe, share come with back, friends. comment, because that's the shit that that I want to hear. I'm I can argue with these guys all day long, but I want to hear from you. Um, thank you guys. He usually does. Peace. Don't forget to speak your piece in the comments section. Also, like and subscribe to Lock22 Productions. And thank you for listening to NFL.